She-Hulk Season 2 has officially been cancelled, and it seems like they won't be moving forward with this character for the foreseeable future. <laughs> And now, this shouldn't come as a surprise, seeing as this show bombed in every single metric possible, but seeing as this is Disney we're talking about, and they thought this show was good enough to be greenlit to begin with... <laughs> Yeah, come at me, bro! ...has just resulted in all fans losing hope in Disney's decision-making abilities and their storytelling capabilities. But this seems to finally be a step in the right direction for Marvel and Disney, as they're finally listening to the fans and actually taking on board what the fans want to see and trying to implement that into their MCU moving forward. However, this step in the right direction has been absolutely tarnished by the way in which Disney is seemingly trying to flip the whole narrative around their failures and try and pin their failure on other people. As Bob Iger recently stated that he was unhappy with the decisions that Bob Chapek made over the last few years when it came to Disney and the MCU, which does have some merit to it, don't get me wrong, but when you're the person that greenlit Peter Pan and Wendy, The Little Mermaid, and Ant-Man Quantumania, you're not really in a position to blame other people. I give it to you. You got me there. And now it's also not just Disney trying to shift blame onto other people, but it's also media companies who for years called us fans toxic, bigoted, and every single bad name under the sun just because we didn't like the projects that Disney and Marvel were putting out. And now all of a sudden, these same media companies are now attacking the MCU and attacking Disney and are finally admitting that their stories just aren't good. Well, well, well. How the turntables... Because all of a sudden it's become popular following the Marvels to attack Marvel and to admit that their stories aren't as good as they were just a few years ago, but don't ever think for a second that we're not going to forget that you literally ran our names through the mud and headlines just because we didn't like these movies. And I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. But all of this just goes to show the power of a fan base, as when the fans bunch together and say that they don't like these projects, and they actually go out there and fight for better movies, fight for better futures for our characters that we love so much, it can actually make a difference. As due to Disney losing hundreds of millions of dollars due to fans not being happy with these movies, they're forced to finally listen and actually take on board some of the constructive feedback that we've been giving for years. As for so long, they were able to dismiss it as just toxic fandom or bigoted fandom, but now they realize that it wasn't just a problem with gender or politics, but the major problem that fans were upset about was the simple fact that the stories weren't good and they weren't developing the characters in a good way. As when you take it back to the characters of the peak MCU, like Black Panther or Black Widow, this was a female character, yet both stories were able to succeed because they were well written and well developed. And that's where the true problem lay, and now they're finally having to realize that simple fact and actually get back to creating good movies again in order to try and make their films profitable in the future. Because at the end of the day, fans are the backbone of the industry, and fans are the one metric that can actually decide between whether or not a film is successful or if it's going to be an absolute bomb. But what does annoy me here is that if Disney actually start listening to the fans and create better projects in the future and start to succeed and start to make more money at the box office, who's going to get praised? It's going to be Disney. Even though we were the people that were calling for this change, even though they were forced into making this change because of us fans, because we voted with our pockets and decided that we weren't going to spend money on movies that we didn't like and that we didn't respect respect, even though we force the change, Disney will be the company to get the praise. And now I understand why, I understand that they're the ones that are actually making these films, and that they do deserve most of the credit when a movie is good, of course they do. However, if you're going to blame the fans when you're failing, then you have to applaud the fans when you start to succeed. Because the fans, like I said, are the backbone of the industry, and so when a movie succeeds, or when a movie 
movie flops, it's entirely down to the fans. Because at the end of the day, the only reason you make a Marvel movie is because there is such a big fan base, is because people want to see those characters on the big screen. And when you look at the demographic of your audience, and you see that nearly 50% of your audience to begin with were female, then it's obviously not toxic fandom when a movie like The Marvels flops at the box office, or a show like She-Hulk also fails to succeed. Gotcha, bitch! Because it's not like most of the fans are just sexist men, when nearly 50% are women, meaning that women didn't like these projects either, meaning that it wasn't a political problem, and that the real problem was in the simple fact that your characters and your stories sucked. And now, Disney do deserve some credit as they're starting to move in the right direction here and are looking to build a better future for Disney and for Marvel. However, what I find really sad here is that there are good characters with real potential that are going to get burned. Because when you look at characters like Moon Knight or Monica Rambeau or even She-Hulk, they have potential. And when you look at them in the comics, they're not bad characters. And if they were just developed well and actually given good stories that weren't trying to pander for the sake of panda, but just tell an honest, great superhero story, then they would have succeeded and these characters would have had a bright future in the MCU. But what's sad now is that they basically have to scrap a character like She-Hulk because just the very mention of her name in the future will make the fans barf. And that's entirely down to the fact that they didn't do her character justice, they didn't develop that character in a good way, and they chose to put all their focus on these new characters that people knew nothing about, and take away all the focus from characters that audience have already built a relationship with, and had already voted with their pockets and said that we loved. Because at the end of the day, a character isn't defined by their name, or their gender, or their race. A character is defined in the MCU, by how well they're written. And that's why characters like Iron Man, Black Widow, Black Panther were able to succeed because they were so well written and so well developed and that's what made them special in the MCU and that's why fans love them. But when you go and look at characters like She-Hulk, when you go and look at characters like Miss Marvel, when you go and look at characters like Monica Rambeau, the main problem there isn't their skin color, isn't their gender, isn't any of that but it's what they're really defined by, which is their crappy storytelling and their crappy development. But not only is it too late to save some of these characters in the MCU, but it might just be too late to save the MCU, because over the last three years, majority of the projects they put out absolutely bombed, and for good reason, they just weren't good. Yes, there were a few gems in there, like Spider-Man No Way Home, like Loki Season 1 and 2, and I've got to say, say Shang-Chi was also a good movie in my opinion. However, aside from those few films, most of them were absolutely terrible. From shows like Secret Invasion, which if you haven't heard about, I don't blame you. And also shows like we're mentioning here in She-Hulk, in Miss Marvel, which no one watched as well, coupled with movies like Ant-Man Quantumania, Eternals, and The Marvels. So after years of putting out projects like that, after years of blaming the fans when these projects projects flop, it's probably just going to be too late to really turn this tide around and get back to being profitable within the next year or two. However, I must say that if they do reboot the MCU and start to put out some good projects in the future, it will take some time, but eventually fans will come around, because at the end of the day, there's nothing many of us like more than just a damn good blockbuster, and if Marvel can prove over the next few projects, even without a reboot, just by making their next few films good, if they can prove that they can get back on the right track, if they can prove that they can actually tell a quality story once again, then I'm sure fans will come around. I know I'll definitely come around, because like I always say, I'm a huge Marvel fan, I'm a huge Disney fan, and I just want to see good projects about my favorite characters from my favorite studio. But what are your thoughts on this news? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.